Well, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so the work is now continuing downtown on the new Digi. That's what it's being called. It's a social media buzz, as it says behind us here. Now, we're having some fun with this because social media, it's the rave these days, right? Who doesn't have Twitter, Facebook, all right, that? Everybody has it. Well, now the right city has it, I guess. We're going to have this awesome digital wall. Take a look. A digi, as the city is calling it, is now being built, Nicole. So this is what the beginning stages look like. But have you heard of this? I, I have heard of this, and I mean, I, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about it. Um, it's kind of El Paso's history yeah. on, on this digital. I think it's great for uh, the younger generations. I think it's, it's great even for us because I think we tend to forget. Are we not young? Oh, yeah, we are young. <laughs> we are. But, but you know what I mean. I, I think that we kind of forget where El Paso came from. And with this wall, we can be reminded. Very Absolutely. Easily. Well, the construction is underway right now. So if you uh, take a look uh, when you drive by, you will see the progress happening. Uh, there's only one other one in the world, and I do believe it's in Copenhagen, uh, Denmark. Pretty cool. And it, again, news of the day can tell you any movies. It's going to be this gigantic wall. So, anyway, that's going on downtown. All right, another story that has people talking today the development over at UTEP. Well, uh, you just saw Pilar Arias' report talking about the university regents in town this week. Uh, they've been uh, uh, taking a look at the Asarco area. Is UTEP going to double in size? Okay, so this morning on Good Morning El Paso, our ladies asked, what would you rather see there, UTEP expand or a soccer stadium? Oh, that's a what tough about one. you? That's Do you have an opinion? Um, oh, don't put me on the spot. <laughs> that's our job, Nicole. I don't, I, it is, but you know, I, I think it would be great for UTEP. Uh, more students, um, um, adding more to our education, but I, I sure. love sports, so why not? Right. Well, I hate to burst uh, your bubble. The Mountain Star Sports saying they are not even looking into yeah. it. So that's why we made this uh, uh, one of our issues tonight. We wanted to clarify that. So take a look at some of the comments real quick. Uh, a lot of people on our Facebook were hoping that it would be. What do you think? Again, this is the question. Would you rather UTEP or a Sarko? And the answer from our first comment here is from Isaiah. MLS, look at how much the Chihuahua was chained El Paso. And uh, it generates jobs and helps local businesses expand, even metro gain business. And, and I have to agree with that. I mean, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't go wrong with sports, ever. No. Right? <laughs> well, right, depending on what sports you like, right? Yes, and uh, Christian, of course, he says, a parking lot, a free one for students. And I mean, I remember being a student at UTEP, and you can't find parking. Never. You know, so, ugh. But thank you for all your comments. Of course, we're going to continue to do this each day. So log on to our Facebook, kvi.com, and get on, in on the conversation with us. And we'll have more news for you after the break.